Welcome to ETS. I'm Donna Lopez and this is your channeled message for January 22nd through to the 28th. So for those of you that are new to my channel, <clears throat> I bring the information in in real time, meaning as I'm doing the video, when I look to the side here, I'm looking at my calendar and when I'm looking otherwise, I'm just connecting in with spirit as they're bringing me in the information. All right, so let's look at the 22nd through to the 24th. Like a little glare there and see what they have for that. Uh, well, I see happy birthday. I see a reason to um, be joyful. Um, I see a celebration. Okay, it feels very good. It's uh, very lighthearted. Yeah, very happy. Good energy. Um, for uh, uh, others of you, as we're moving in a little bit to the 23rd, I see um, you moving things around. It's like I'm not going to change up my whole schedule, but I'm going to change how I do things in my schedule. In other words, I'm working within a perimeter, and I'm going to take this and move it over to here, and I'm going to move this over to here, and etc. So moving things around so that you um, are more organized in a way that serves you better. All right. <clears throat> All right. I hear don't blame anyone for your mistakes and um, that as a result of a so-called mistake, which mistakes are usually just lessons, ways that we learn. I see you moving out of a situation that didn't serve you. I feel like this might have been with a female, uh, an irritation, and I see it clearing up and moving. You're moving forward out of that situation. Uh, things balancing out. Uh, for others of you, I see you changing everything up. I see it's like... I, it's almost if you had a vision board and you're scratching out, you're taking a knife and cutting all of it up. Like, I no longer want any of that. I don't want anything to do with any of it. I'm starting fresh, new, clean, clear. And I, it, the way I see this too is that you're setting, you're going to take your time and set the stage and put the things, the people, the, the, the energies, the things you want for yourself. You're going to take your time and put it in place in a way that where the whole picture is like, okay, that's, that's me. That's more of what I want, more of what I'm about. I feel, though, this little bit of like frustration that you thought you wanted what you wanted, and now you realize you don't. But remember, there's timing. All right? Life is not just about us. It's about all the other characters. It's interesting they used a stage because it is a stage, all right? And different characters and people come in at the right time to serve us in a way that is most useful for whatever growth it is that we're going to be having. Hmm. All right, we're going to look at the 25th and 26th, which is a Saturday, Sunday. All right, I see you trying to um, serve two masters, all right, or riding a fence. And, you know, you're at a point where you can't ride the fence anymore. It's time to either move over to one side or the other, but you can't do both things. You have to time to claim who you are and what you're about. And uh, it's not so much choosing whose side you're on. It's about choosing who you are, what you're about, and what you're not about. It's a coming to Jesus moment, all right? Hmm. All right, we're going to look at the 27th, 28th, which is Monday, Tuesday. All right, I hear simplify your life. Um, I, I feel as though uh, many of us will be in harmony with simplifying our life. It's uh, I don't want all this stuff anymore. I'm just going to simplify down to a few things, and that's all I want for myself. <clears throat> it's almost like if you were looking and thinking, okay, what are three things that I necessary that are necessary for my well-being that that are important to me? And they cannot, they don't, they're not lofty things. These are you know, one could be health, all right? Uh, some basics, basics for you. And I see you getting very clear on that and what that is for you. And I also see you coming out of the closet on that and actually expressing that to others, but also expressing more so the actions you've taken to being more in alignment with this simplicity. All right. So we're going to look at the 22nd to the 28th, the whole week there, and see what they have. 
All right, for some of you, I feel like you don't want to come out from under the covers. Like uh, some of you will be, uh, I feel like there's a fear of like, oh, I don't really want to see what's happening in the world anymore. It's too much. It's chaotic, etc. cetera. Um, so I see you like just wanting to like hide away and not be, not be out there exposed to anything. Um, <clears throat> they're saying that you will create more conflict within yourself by hiding out. We can choose to unplug without literally not getting out of bed, all right? And um, it's almost as if you'll make it worse by feeling as though something's being done to you rather than you are a part of a, an experience that is happening out in front of us. And how we choose to tap in or, or stand back or how we choose to navigate that is, um, has everything to do with how it will fulfill itself. So uh, hiding away and getting all upset about it and, 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 and uh, will create more entanglement and more, you will be giving more of your energy to what you don't want to see expressed in the world than you would if you just stood up and did you and did things the way that are right for you. Interesting. All right, let's see. Um, hmm. Okay, for some of you, I see there's going to be a new happening, new beginning, almost like I'm, I just bought a new home, but I feel like I'm getting ready to announce it. No, I'm not going to announce it. I'm announcing it. No, I'm not announcing it. So I feel like uh, there's a little, and I'm hearing conflict. So I feel like there's a little bit of conflict about how things are unfolding or we thought we were, but it didn't work out or it fell through. Uh, but I feel like it will bring in, I'm hearing a new balance. So things will balance out in a new and different way than what you thoughts. So any pregnant pauses will be for the best. Hmm. Yes. Um, I'm hearing something about teacher's pet and, uh, I, f this has to do with you wanting to be the teacher's pet or you being the teacher's pet. Um, hmm. I feel as though that the teacher is wanting to kick you out of the nest and move you out, you know, out into the world more like you've learned what you needed to learn. Now it's time for you to move out and, you know, you don't need to be under my umbrella or um, I'm not your protector. That's a very good teacher that can do that, actually. So, yeah, if you find yourself all of a sudden dissociated from something that was familiar where you were fed a lot. And then just know that it is happening for you, not to you. And it's, it, it, it is because you're ready. You're ready to graduate. Hmm. All right. All right. They're talking about not confusing closeness with, it's like I'm hearing like closeness with a memory. But I feel as though it's like, uh, so you think because you're close with someone or close with a situation or that you're creating these memories and they're saying that it's, and I, I want to say this with love, but they said it's like dust on the film. It's uh, insignificant. So just because you're with a situation or with, um, you, you, it mean, you think it means more than it means. All right. And they're saying this obviously because they don't want you to be hurt uh, and they want you to see things clearly, but that memories are made from many small things, sometimes not necessarily the big things. So, um, they're saying some of this had to do too with you kind of enabling a situation. So that's why it's like, Oh, they'll love there's helping. And then there's also trying to get love from being the helper. And, um, <clears throat> I feel like this has to do with you understanding love a little bit better that, uh, we, um, enabling is not helping. Um, and it also that we don't help unless we're asked to help. Otherwise we're just insinuating ourselves into a situation, but, uh, there's some clarity around love and relationships and, uh, being a part of a collective. So there would be a little bit of a heavy here for some of you, but it will be um, create a brighter light inside of you as a result because you'll understand life and love a little bit more fully. Yeah. All right. All right. I think that's good. So I want to say namaste. Thank you all so very much. And um, I'll see you next week.